Hi Capricorn, welcome to Lily Light Tarot. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at, ooh, let's see. Let's take a look at your December 2023 reading. What is coming your way, what you need to know, and any advice from, you know, what advice from spirit is gonna come through for you? All right, let's go ahead and begin. Capricorn, December, to, okay. Oh, let me go grab that card. It just flew over. Mmm, double major arcana already opening in. Let's see. Capricorn, December. What's coming in for Capricorn in this in this new month? Wow, December 2023. The new year is just right around the corner, Capricorn. Can you believe it? Let's see here. Top row, we have Hangman. Wheel of Fortune. I feel like everyone's been getting the Wheel of Fortune. Like I, I've done like four readings and the Wheel of Fortune has come out, which makes sense. Turning into a new season, turning into a new year, tables are turning. But we also see a Nine of Swords in your middle row. Goodness, the, all these major arcanas here. We have Six of Wands. The Powerful Magician is in your center space. Wow, okay. Next to the High Priestess. Jeez. <laughs> This middle row, triple major arcana, okay? I, the bottom row, we have three of pentacles, chariot, two of cups. Let's take a look here at your general over, uh, your general energy here, Capricorn. Let's see. And then we will dive into your reading, Capricorn. Let's. See. All right. We have king of cups as your general overview or your general energy. In your area of opportunity, we have the Four of Swords. And then advice from spirit and potential future outcome, we're looking at the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. Your general overall energy, we have the King of Cups. This is emotional peace and balance, okay? Something here I see moving into December, there's some type of satisfactory that you're going to be experienced due to you um, calling like like the ball is going to be like in your court in some situation here capricorn where you're going to be very pleased and satisfied with you know how things have turned out or how things are going uh i'm also getting this expression like smooth sailing <laughs> okay that word is coming in or that phrase something that's like you're gonna just feel like wow this is like very smooth sailing um this is like very easy this is just very natural so there's something here that your inner emotional state you're kind of like at peace or you will be at peace you know like overall in december there's some type of peace coming over you now with that okay with that let's take a look here at your okay oh here your challenge what's interesting is your your challenge or your area of opportunity is the four of swords the Four of Swords taps into kind of like resting, relaxing, not stressing, taking time to reflect, pray, meditate, but also like separate yourself from outside noise or distractions or people to find like an inner peace. So I think that's so interesting that this is in your area of um, opportunity or challenge because I've, I'm sensing here that Capricorn, a lot of you are... I don't want to say you have anger problems. <laughs> That's a, I don't want that to come off wrong. But I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm picking up on maybe like in the past, you were trying to control things or you were trying to make things go your way. Um, maybe trying to have people see like your side or have people hear you out. But Four of Swords is like just letting it go. Okay, just letting it go into like, god's hands you know the universe's way um your spirit guides direction there's something here you're just like huh, i'm gonna sleep on it and see how i feel like the next day so the area of opportunity here with the four of swords is saying like don't get so like hung up and speaking of hung up your top row we have the wheel um hangman wheel of fortune and the nine of swords there, in December, there's something here that you're going to realize, okay? Spirit is saying, like, something that you're, you're going to get caught up on, you're going to realize it's not worth being so attached to it so closely. And once you, like, let things fall naturally or come together naturally, you're going to see it wasn't even worth the stress. 
Okay, it wasn't worth the the loss of sleep. It wasn't worth crying over. It wasn't <laughs> worth the inner turmoil. Because something is going to come together where you're still going to find it working out in your favor with the four of wands. Okay. Something here, something here where you're just like, what, what's going to happen with me? Where, where am I going to go? What am I going to do? How am I going to come across this? How am I going to get more, right? How am I going to whatever? There's some type of, I'm sensing like stress. You're just like, what if? But then, boom, like an epiphany, you're like, oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? I, I also, I'm also feeling too like some divine, um, divine guidance. Because the Four of Swords too, this taps into inner reflection, meditation, and prayer, okay? So like if you are seeking guidance, naturally people will like pray or ask for help in their mind, ask spirit guides, you know, like angels, like, okay, show me the way, show me the way, being open, okay? And the hangman, this is also that reflection, being open-minded. You see this light around their head? Being open-minded to be guided and used in a way that you may not understand. This is something that you may have, and not, it may have not been in your plan, plan A, B, C, D, E, okay? But it's still going to come together for you. Like, you're still going to, um, like, it's gonna work out, and you're gonna be like, oh my goodness, this is crazy. So, because look, spirit from uh, advice from spirit and potential outcome, we are looking at the 10 of pentacles. So it's like something is gonna come together. Okay, it's going to be finalized or you're going to, um, you're not going to f be without in, in some type of way. Oh, Capricorn, what a good reading. I mean, this overall reading, this is looking really, really good, very powerful because in your middle row, we have the Six of Wands, Magician, High Priestess, okay, success, victory, overcoming challenges, okay, transforming and being guided. It's like your your path is being divinely guided here. Um, let me let me pull a clar clarifier here for you. Oh 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 okay, wow double sixes okay hold on. Nine of cups, highest happiness, gratitude, appreciation. Look at this cat just relaxing, enjoying all of the sweets and the tea, <laughs> whipped cream with the cherry on top, right? Something here, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. And then the Six of Pentacles, things coming in order, in balance. Things finally aligning. You receiving what you've put out. Okay, you've put out, but you're receiving like your efforts in that same weight. Something is definitely going to pay off for you here, Capricorn, in, uh, in December. A lot of you too, you're gonna to realize that you you have like the courage, the vision, the, the capabilities, you have the the skills, the the gut, okay, uh, the strength to, to, to do what it is that's putting you in this higher path, this path for your highest good. Hmm. There's a challenge too, as I look at this row here, if you're feeling stuck, again, right? If you're feeling stuck, lost, confused, um, alone, there's just I, just, I just sense like universe is like looking out for you. Cause you're gonna like, boom, one day have this dream. Look at their head, like again, it's lit. You're gonna have this dream or this vision. Sometimes, you know, when you're like washing the dishes or taking a shower, it's like, boom that idea hits and you're like, oh my gosh, that's what I'm gonna do, or that's what I should say, or that's what I uh, should consider, right? And then if we look at this row, it all works out for you. Things are coming together. People come together. The thing is though, you, you need to put yourself in that path, okay? That's also what Spirit is saying here. Don't stay where you're at, um, put in that action. Because once you receive the, um, the, the, the clarity or the confirmation or the sign that you're looking for, you can't just sit there and say, okay, thank you. You had to detach yourself from the stuckness that you were in and move forward, okay? Activate, like the magician, you need to activate. But once you activate your path, 
Capricorn, you you will continue. I will see you will continue to get guidance. Okay, you will continue to uh, get confirmation that will match. Like, okay, yeah, this is confirmed. This is this is a uh, this is you know what I needed to hear. This is um, the the love, the protection uh, that you're going to benefit from. When it comes to like job careers or like some type of business here, spirit is also showing that the path that you are going to find strength in or you're going to pursue strongly in December, it's going to create a result where you're not going to feel at a loss. You're going to realize, okay, this was worth it. This was worth it. This was worth the pursuit. This was worth giving it a try. This was worth planting the seed a while ago and reaping the benefits now. It may it was a challenge getting up into this point, okay? It was a, a hurdle, but you're gonna be like, oh, wow, I came through, I conquered, <gasps> I got through it, I got through it. Let me take a look at your bottom row. When we see the Three of Pentacles, Chariot, and the Two of Cups, for those that are single or looking for new love, I definitely see someone coming your way. You could be meeting someone at work or with your business or maybe in like a business establishment. Not all, but some of you. Uh, for others, you may be finding your connection in something that you deeply connect with. Like if you love going to the gym, if you um, love going to a particular like bookstore, uh, something that you connect with that you're, you weren't actively looking, but they found you, okay? Like, they're going to find you. Um, now, some of you are already in a happy relationship, so of course you wouldn't be looking for new love, but you're looking for new opportunities. And these opportunities, again, same thing applies, Capricorn. They will find you in your most natural state or your natural habitat, so to speak, right? It's like this guy's just working, doing his thing, like la la la. And then these two people just happen to be looking for a contractor, looking for an architecture, okay, looking for a developer, um, something to help, someone to help them with their vision, their plan, their website, whatever, um, their career, their company. And they come across you. And they're like, oh my gosh, Capricorn, hey, are you available for hire? You know, like how much do you want? There's something here where it's like they see you. But the thing is, again, you got to be out in your path. They wouldn't have seen you if you stayed stuck in this tree, right? Um, because technically, we can see this as the same person. You have to go out there. You have to put yourself out there. You have to be available to be seen, okay? Put your work out there, your resume out there. Put that you're available out there, right? And then the road will lead you to this connection of opportunity, Hmm. It's interesting here too because not all, but some of you may be connecting with a water sign. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Not all, but some. Uh, but I'm also showing here with the King of Cups, okay? Something you may receive some type of um, chance or kind of like a chance of a lifetime or an opportunity where it's going to motivate you to move closer to the thing that you love or move for love or move in the name of love, okay? Love for the job, for the career, for the industry, for a person, for the environment. Something has to do with like love. Like, oh my gosh, I love this so much. Yeah, let me make this move. But let me, let me pull a card here. Ooh, the world. Interesting. Could be travel. Okay. You, um, I'm also picking up that you and your partner, for those that are in a happy relationship, uh, Capricorn, you and your partner may be, you know, like, um, discussing your financial situation in order to, like, make a move that's going to work out very well for both of you. There's something like you're, you're, you're looking to move, but um, some of you are also, again, like moving for love or moving with a new loved one or moving in. There's also like a, accumulating like more money or 
more like overtime to travel for some of you too it's like you are motivated to put in more effort because you want to make this travel to to meet with the person that you love loved ones family children grandchildren so december it's like yeah okay i'll put in the work i'll put in the effort i'll i'll work extra right like i'll doordash or whatever it's like i'll do whatever i need work overtime i'll do deliveries it's like you're willing to to collaborate or to do what you need to help other people to get to where you want to go hmm because all you care about is like the end, like the finish line, right? Like the two of cups. It's like, I, I don't care what I need to do. And, you know, at, at least I just need to get to the end. Complete the circle. Let me see. Let me look at your ten of pentacles here. Capricorn, in your area of advice, the ten of pentacles is coming through. Or, you know, your future outcome too. Potential future outcome. Ten of pentacles is showing like security and wealth financial situation being taken care of feeling safe secure um a coming together too in general with just like family friends pets your environment it could be job security some it could be like retirement too you're like oh i'm gonna bank on this but it's more like financial just like comfort or resourceful comfort like ah oh, yes i finally got this house ah oh, yes i finally have enough in my savings account you know, ah, yes, I finally got to settle into this, I like this dream, you know, country that I always wanted to live in or this dream state. Finally, you know, my family's complete because I adopted these two dogs. There's just that feeling where you're just like, ah, now it's all together. Like the stress, the stress is over here. There's no, you know. There was a lot of stress that you went through, a lot of heartache, a lot of um, sadness. But spirit is showing here too in December. There's you're gonna see like, wow, you know what? I appreciate the things that I have now, the things that are coming together, um, the people and the friends that I've made, the love that I have, the health that I that you know that that gets me through the day. Um, some of you too are learning from lessons in the past where you may have been burnt, but that made your foundation stronger. The Seven of Cups shows this House of Cards, right? The House of Cards we know is not strong, um, but I, I do see here though, Capricorn, some of you may have learned that the hard way in the past. You learned, mm, you know, lessons that at the time they were not ideal, but it helped you create this firm foundation that you know to be true. Like, okay, well now that I know better, I'm gonna do better and I'm gonna come across and experience better, right? Something to, to that effect here because then we have the Nine of Pentacles. You receiving the best, you enjoying your best life, you being so happy. Um, I mean, there's a lot of abundance just overall in this in this reading in December. You're gonna come across a lot of blessings and that's why you're in your overall general energy, we have the King of Cups. There's so much because this is like a general reading here. So it's hard to just pinpoint exactly what it is for the thousands of people that are watching. But just know that December, it's going to bring a lot of hidden blessings, surprises, okay? You're definitely going to be guided you're going to, especially if you're seeking it, that's the thing. If you are seeking it, you are going to be guided. You're going to see the signs. Some things, um, especially when you try to, again, control things your way, all right? It could lead to disappointment and sadness, uh, rejection, betrayal. Um, but if you, again, seek that guidance or also separate yourself from things that have been tearing you down, you realize, hey, you know what? There are other ways. There are other alternatives. There are other fish in the sea. There are other uh, chances, you know, to take, you know, a chance in. There are other victories to be had. So overall, I really like this powerful reading here for you, uh, Capricorn. This is probably like the best that I've done for you, I think, like in a while. It's almost like December, you're going to go out with like a, a big, a, a big win. Okay, we have the victory with the Six of Wands. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We see the magician changing. Okay, your life is changing and transforming right before your eyes. Also, oh, that's another thing too. Spirit is saying like aligning. Some paths too, it's going to be bigger. Not everything is going to be finalized in December, but you're going to be set on that path. Okay, you're going to be set on that path. 
and you're going to start to see the the workings take place. But some things will come to a, a full circle moment. All right, so until then, I'll see you in the next reading, Capricorn. Stay well and be blessed.